Welcome to start here with quotes by Jefferson, your gateway to inspiration, motivation, and practical wisdom. This isn't just another collection of quotes, it's a transformative experience designed to uplift and empower you daily. Through our YouTube channel, Start Here with Jefferson, we delve into the wisdom of Jefferson Otenbara Inbi, offering insights that go beyond the surface. Every quote we explore comes from Jefferson's extensive work across books, blogs, and publications. But we don't stop at simply sharing quotes. Each one is carefully unpacked, providing you with practical guidance on how it can be applied to real-life challenges. Our discussions are not just about inspiration but about action, showing you how to use these timeless lessons to navigate the ups and downs of life. What sets us apart is our commitment to offering a balanced view. We don't just praise the positives, we also explore potential counterpoints, giving you a complete understanding. This unique dual perspective ensures you can fully grasp each message and apply it effectively to your journey. Join us on this path of growth and empowerment. Together, we'll explore the depth of Jefferson's wisdom, helping you find clarity, direction, and renewed energy to pursue your goals. This is more than a playlist, it's your companion on the road to a purposeful, empowered life. Let Jefferson's insights be your guide as you begin this extraordinary journey. Introducing Jefferson's quote from the Shaw Word for today. Let me introduce you to more of Jefferson's quotes from the Shaw Word for today's daily devotion. In inspirational quotes by Jefferson, Jefferson, like a trusted friend, invites you to immerse yourself in his wisdom. If you are seeking inspiration or encouragement today, remember that every journey begins with a single step and every outstanding achievement was once deemed impossible. Believe in yourself, take that step, and keep moving forward. The world eagerly awaits the unique contributions only you can offer. As we embark on this journey through the inspirational quotes by Jefferson, I invite you to embrace the transformative power of his words. Each quote has the potential to spark change, nurture courage, and foster understanding. The sure word for today is more than a collection of thoughts, it's a guiding light through life's challenges. In life's chaos, these quotes are beacons of hope, reminding you of the resilience and joy that fuel your journey. So, open your heart and let Jefferson's words be a guiding light on your voyage. Are you ready? Our adventure beckons. Subscribe to the sure word for today YouTube channel today and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. Let the inspiration begin. The table of content. We present the table of contents for start here with quotes by Jefferson. Today's episode. In this subtitle we refer to the current installment or segment of the series where we announce the quote number. The inspirational quote by Jefferson O. Inby. This subtitle declares the quotation for the day by Jefferson O. Inby. The source of today's quote. The subtitle draws your attention to the source from which the quote for the day is extracted. It gives a summary of the source and you can get a copy of the source. Introduction. This is a brief introduction of the quote. It gives a general insight of what the quote will cover. The judgment. This subtitle focuses on exploring the potential limitations or criticisms of the quote. We consider whether the message of the quote is universal or whether it may be limited in certain contexts. We also explore how different audiences have received the quote and what criticisms or counterarguments have been raised. The key. This subtitle focuses on identifying the key message or themes of the quote. We explore the underlying principles or values that the quote embodies and consider how these ideas can be applied in different contexts. We also consider how the quote relates to other ideas or themes that are important to you. The application. This subtitle focuses on exploring how the quote can be applied to everyday life. We provide examples of how the quote can be used to inspire action or change and offer tips on how to implement the message in your daily life. 
We also consider how the quote relates to specific challenges or issues that you may be facing. The image. This subtitle focuses on exploring the metaphorical or symbolic meanings of the quote. We consider how the imagery or language used in the quote contributes to its overall message and what deeper meanings or insights can be gleaned from the language used. We also explore how the quote has been visually represented or interpreted in different contexts. The Potential Reversal This subtitle focuses on exploring how the message of the quote might be reversed or contradicted in certain contexts. We consider how the quote might be challenged by different cultural or social norms or how its message might need to be adapted to be relevant in different contexts. We also consider how the quote relates to different perspectives or worldviews and what insights can be gained from considering alternative viewpoints. The Conclusion The conclusion provides a sense of closure and helps to reinforce the importance of the quote. Make a difference by giving. We will introduce you to our link, where you can contribute to supporting the work we are doing. A final thought with Jefferson. Direct words from Jefferson to encourage, motivate, and inspire you as we conclude this episode. Today's episode. Start Here with Jefferson presents quote number 464 Start Here with Quotes by Jefferson. The Inspirational Quotes by Jefferson Oinby. Quote, true healing grows in the soil of connection, where shared bodies transform into shared strength and hope. Unquote. The source of today's quote. Today's inspirational quote from Start Here with Quotes by Jefferson is taken from My Daily Devotion, the show word for today. Immerse yourself in daily inspiration with the show word for today by Jefferson O. Inby. This soul-enriching devotion, accessible at www.theshoreword.org.uk, provides profound insights and spiritual guidance to illuminate your daily journey. Inby's reflections are meticulously crafted to uplift, motivate, and establish a firm foundation for everyday life. For a consistent source of wisdom, visit the website to subscribe to the daily devotion. Elevate your spiritual journey further by becoming a member of our YouTube channel. Empower your daily living with the sure word for today and witness the transformative impact of its uplifting messages. Pause the video and scan the QR code to join and receive the daily devotion. Pause the video again, scan the QR code, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where we feature playlists spanning various aspects of life. The Introduction Healing is often thought of as a solitary journey, but real growth happens when you embrace the power of connection, when you choose to share your struggles and allow others to support you. Something incredible takes place. Challenges become lighter and what once seemed overwhelming starts to look manageable. This concept highlights how connecting with others can be the foundation for true recovery and growth. Through unity, bodies transform into resilience and despair shifts to hope. The Judgment
Why the message here resonates deeply, some might argue it doesn't apply universally. Not everyone is comfortable sharing personal challenges. For some, privacy is paramount and they may believe healing is a journey best undertaken alone. Cultural and personal backgrounds may also impact one's willingness to embrace communal support. In some cases, sharing struggles might even be discouraged, viewed as a weakness rather than a strength. Additionally, there is the risk that resilience on others could hinder the development of self-reliance and inner strength. The key. The core message of this school centers on the transformative power of connection. It suggests that healing becomes more accessible and more profound when you share your burdens with others, allowing yourself to be uplifted by their support. By coming together, you create a foundation of shared strength which enables each of you to withstand life's challenges more effectively. This principle isn't about dependency. It's about the power of community and the mutual resilience that grows from helping each other. It's a reminder that sometimes the strength to heal comes not from within, but from the relationships you cultivate. The application. Applying this code to your life means recognizing that you don't have to go through hardships alone. If you are facing a personal struggle, consider reaching out to someone you trust. Engage in conversations with friends, family or support groups. When you open up about your challenges, you may find that others have faced similar issues and can offer advice, encouragement or simply a listening ear. This shared experience not only provides comfort, but also builds a collective strength that you can draw on during difficult times. Allowing yourself to be vulnerable and connected can make your healing journey faster and more fulfilling. The Image Imagine a garden where different plants grow side by side. Their roots intertwine beneath the soil. These plants thrive not because they are isolated, but because they draw strength from each other's presence. This imagery captures the essence of healing through connection, like roots intertwined. You find resilience and nourishment from those around you. Each shared burden becomes like a branch reinforcing the collective strength and creating a solid foundation for growth. This powerful visual brings to life the idea that shared struggles and support provide a fertile ground for healing and transformation. The Potential Reversal In certain contexts, the message of this quote might be challenged. Some people may find strength in isolation, believing that true resilience comes from within rather than from external sources. In cultures that value self-reliance, leaning on others could be seen as a sign of weakness. Additionally, there are instances where relying too much on others might lead to disappointment if support isn't forthcoming. Some might even argue that sharing burdens can sometimes add stress to relationships, especially if both parties are struggling. While connection can be powerful, it's essential to balance it with personal resilience and independence. The Conclusion
in life, healing doesn't have to be a solitary path. When you embrace connection, you open yourself to the strength, support, and hope that only unity can provide. Through shared struggles, you find shared strength, creating a foundation of resilience that's both personal and communal. Remember, true healing grows best when nurtured in the soil of connection, and together, you become more vital than you could ever be alone. Make a difference by giving. Thank you for being a part of our community across the Shore Word for today. Start here with Jefferson and Robust Digital Expert. Your support is invaluable to us. By buying us a virtual coffee, you're helping us continue to produce content that inspires, educates, and empowers, making a difference in the lives of others. Together, we can make a difference and reach even more people. Thank you for your generosity and for believing in our mission. Make a difference today by clicking the link in the description. A final thought with Jefferson. Brothers and sisters, let us set aside our differences. We are not created to be identical nor to come from the same race, tribe or background. Even siblings are unique, yet we are all bound by the one God who created us. Why then do we tear each other down? Why do we let our tongues arm our brothers and sisters when the world around us is desperate for healing and help? We are all connected. When we speak ill of our brother or spread lies about our sister, we sow seeds that will eventually bear fruit. These fruits, however, are not ones we will want to harvest. Instead of letting gossip and grudges poison our lives, let us choose love and respect, for the seeds we sow will determine the fruit we bear. This world is hurting, and every day, lives are lost. We are called to be lights in this world, to show love that transcends our differences. Imagine the change we could create if we poured our energy into helping others instead of hurting one another. Let's turn away from heartache and division. Our lives are a testament, and God has entrusted us with a purpose to lift others, not tear them down. Let's live in love, knowing we will give an account of how we treated one another. Let's make that account a legacy of love.